I'm Tanner Wilkerson. I'm one of the founding engineers here at 7AI. Seven AI is a, is a company who is trying to put AI into the hands of defenders, so that um, defenders can scale to the non to the unhuman levels that uh, attackers are currently scaling to, leveraging similar technologies. We're currently a small, growing team, growing very quickly. Um, here at Seven AI, we have currently a very flat um, organization structure, um, like. Typical in startups of our size, typically try to take a flat structure and uh, you run with it as long as you possibly can until it becomes the limitation of velocity and then you stack it. Uh, so right now we organize more as kind of stream teams or sprint teams. Uh, so there's a, a sprint or a stream leader that has a, a has an endeavor or has a, a project focus, and they will lead uh, in number of individuals under them in order to achieve that effort. Um, pretty these pretty these shift around who the stream leaders are shifts around month to month. Uh, so it's very fluid, and it's also a great opportunity for individuals to learn management skills and adapt their management skills on a smaller scale uh, to see if possibly that career route is something that they may be interested in. Uh, and if so, that we want to see individuals grow to their fullest potential. So we want to make sure that individuals are uh, exposed to all possible tracks here at 7AI so that uh, they ultimately get to leverage all of their strengths and wherever they end up in this very exciting uh, company in the future. So at 7AI, we're solving something that ultimately has never been built before, uh, and not only in the cybersecurity space, but in the general space of technology. Um, building AI automation systems and, and, and multi-agentic systems is something that everybody right now is on a journey to truly figure out. So it's, you know, our fun projects are not these little offshoot, uh, small little sprint uh, efforts. They're truly the core product is an absolutely exhilarating and, and super exciting endeavor because it is something that the answers aren't easily Googleable. Um, you really need to, it's not something that you learn in school. It's not architectures that are really well defined that ultimately um, other people are publishing articles about. Everybody's kind of figuring out this space all at once and you really have to pull on your adjacent knowledge to say, hey, let's give this a shot. You have to really delve into white papers um, in order to get kind of what are the latest groups publishing and talking about and then ultimately mutate what they're talking about to fit your use case even uh, a little bit better or even evolve their use case and their solution um, in order to achieve your ultimate goal. So it's, it's really awesome. It's a super exciting time. It's a super exciting sector of technology to be a part of. Um, but it's not for the weak hearted. Uh, it's, it's extremely challenging uh, in, in the best and the funnest of ways. Um, and that ultimately is, is for me personally, super exciting. Uh, and the people who find that kind of working environment exciting are the people who would thrive here at 7AI and ultimately most seed stage startups in the AI, AI space right now as well. So there's a couple of pillars across our, our core technical problem that we're attempting to solve. I would say for obvious reasons, generative AI comes up um, quite a bit uh, because we are trying to uh, leverage the reasoning capabilities of, of generative AI to, to make fairly um, expressive, contextually impactful and contextually important decision making of, um, across the course of an investigation. So for obvious reasons, LLMs come up. Uh, this is not just natural language based LLMs. This is multimodal LLMs we are using in, in different facets. Um, so there is some, uh, some text based, there is some image based, um, even some uh, image based interactive uh, concepts uh, such as you know, computer use and stuff like that, that are obviously coming up quite a bit. Um, obviously, this does not subtract from all of the very powerful traditional concepts uh, of ML with, that have uh, shown some promise within cybersecurity. Um, and it, but I would say that out of those concepts, one of the biggest uh, one of the biggest players it, out of those pillars is definitely going to be the graph space. Uh, this includes graph machine learning, uh, graph data science. Um, it turns out that investigations replicate a graph-like structure uh, very, very natively. 
And so leveraging those core capabilities uh, of graph theory in order to inform and learn from previous investigations um, and ultimately drive better and better investigations forward is something that is very much core to our platform and our product. So um, I would say anybody that's passionate about um, any kind of traditional machine learning um, it definitely will find a home here because we have a wide breadth of machine learning problems. And it's, to be honest, it's a bit of a machine learning enthusiast's playground. Um, if you are passionate about one sector of, of machine learning, there is likely a role um, or a project or an endeavor here in some facet uh, that you would find interesting and find passionate, uh, pa find your passion in. I, but I will say that uh, you know generative methods, uh, specifically agentic uh, structures and multi-agent systems. Um, with that, obviously, contextual management, uh, we are, you know, very much beyond a simple RAG utility. So um, building a simple chatbot is, is something that is um, a little bit, a couple miles uh, uh, behind us on the road and on our journey. Uh, we are definitely doing some pretty complex contextual management, knowledge management structures in order to uh, present our generative platforms with both a short-term memory model and a long-term memory model. Um, so that contextual representation, contextual decomposition, knowledge decomposition, uh, all of these concepts you see emerging within these agentic structures and agentic systems, we are very much on the forefront of. Um, and all of that does trickle down to some pretty important and, and pretty major uh, as far as its role, uh, graph theory and, and graph mechanics under the hood. So I would say traditional machine learning for sure, but uh, generative methods uh, as well as graph ML, those I would say are um, the, the two most prominent pillars in the technical problems we're solving here and tackling here at 7 AI. So the interview process at, uh, at 7 AI for uh, machine learning personnel break is broken down into um, three phases. We kind of have uh, an initial informational call where we just get to know each other, get to talk about the company, uh, make sure that the interest is there on both sides of the table. From there, we go into a phone screen where we review kind of fundamental um, technical skills to make sure just kind of a meeting the bar check in order for us to bring you on site and ask you some more um, pressing questions. Uh, we like to tackle applied AI and ML. We like to tackle, tackle a little bit of theoretical ML as well. Obviously, there's a couple of coding questions in there. Um, but ultimately, I think that, you know, for me personally and a lot of my colleagues as well, what we truly look for is we look for people who are passionate, they're driven, um, and they have a good breadth of expertise, um, and they know when to dive deep into those different bins of their expertise. So regardless if they have depth in that moment, um, finding somebody that knows when to go deep, when it makes sense, um, you know, when should I double down on this bin that I know about, but I may not know a ton about. Um, knowing when to dive deep is an extremely powerful skill that is actually a little bit more rare than I think people would like to admit. Um, and I think that we're looking for those individuals that have good breath and they're super passionate because ultimately in a seed stage startup, passion is what drives us. Um, we, we have to be passionate about what we're doing because we want to see um, not only um, the company succeed, we want to see our colleagues succeed, we want success ourselves. And if everybody is passionate around us, then we all set each other up for success. And ultimately, if, if one of our colleagues wins, that means we all win uh, in a seed stage startup um, and, and any startup, in fact. So I think, you know, throughout the interview process, we're really trying to gauge that that breadth of knowledge, um, both in, in, in ML and uh, definitely in mathematical fundamentals, for sure, uh, statistical um, uh, statistical fundamentals and, and uh, core core mathematics that you see come up with in um, machine learning. Um, I think the biggest thing that we also want to see is that. You know, whenever we engage into interviews, you know, especially me personally, we look for somebody who is able to teach. Um, we go in and, and a lot of the interview styles are us kind of asking questions as if we are a student not knowing and seeing how well can the person explain these concepts to us um, as we as we engage them with questions. 
Um, this may be, this is oftentimes a topic that we already know about, but every once in a while, the, the candidate across the table will be particularly passionate about, uh, around a topic that maybe the interviewer is not so informed of. And the better that candidate can teach us about that topic, um, the more impressed I think a lot of the interviewers around here will ultimately be. Uh, because we don't believe in siloed knowledge here at 7AI. Uh, we believe expertise should be shared, should be distributed. We hire people with different expertise backgrounds for a reason. We want them to bring that expertise to conversations at the table and not only offer that expertise when coming to solutions, but offer that expertise up to their colleagues so that together we can bring the floor up um, and enhance each other's expertise all around and become stronger engineers uh, every day here at 7AI. There's a lot of reasons to be excited uh, on joining 7AI and, and this general space of, of AI startups that are that are emerging. I think one important thing to, to iterate here and really push here is that 7AI is much more than just a, a ChatGPT wrapper company. I think that we are doing, um, we're, we're doing very advanced data modeling. We're doing traditional machine learning in order to inform our AI systems. Uh, we ultimately are, are approaching this problem from a very holistic standpoint. Um, I personally don't come from a, a cybersecurity background. Uh, ever since grad school, I have been in algorithm research. Um, but uh, by us bringing that different expertise to the table of, you know, myself being more of a, uh, a an algorithm expert, um, worked in deterministic, stochastic, um, as traditional algorithms, as well as AI and ML. And we have these cybersecurity experts coming to the table as, as well. And the way that we're going to succeed is by those individuals talking and, and ultimately sharing their knowledge and us using that collaborative knowledge to attack this problem head on. And I think that um, with all the complexity behind our problem, um, the fact that we're not just calling to, to ChatGPT, we're doing much more on the back end than that. And the stuff that we are doing on the back end is extremely exciting and innovative. Um, but also we are riding this wave. We are, we are at the, the, the peak of this wave of agentic systems. And so for somebody that is, uh, for something that is going to form and shape the future to be in the body of that wave and riding that wave forward into the future and often defining a lot of these architectures and a lot of these concepts is often what a lot of engineers dream of. And so getting that opportunity, you only get these kind of waves a couple of times throughout the course of your career. So um, if, if you really get a thrill by, and you think you'll love riding that one of those waves that come across in your career, then 7AI is one of the, one of the individuals, one of the groups in that wave. And I highly recommend to come and check us out and come and join us uh, because we're having a blast. It's a lot of um, it's, it's a lot of awesome problem solving. It's uh, it's an amazing time, and I would say it's probably I mean it unarguably is the best experience of my career personally.